Hello and welcome to Wasted Water, the dumbest thing on the internet since the Flat Earth Society. Today we're going to be taking a look at a water I purchased on my trip last week, and that is Cumberland Gap Mountain Spring Water. Right here is the bottle, so you guys can go ahead and read it. I purchased this water in Kentucky. It was $2.99 for one bottle. Uh, we will be trying this water today. I have moderate expectations for it. It's not going to be Deja Blue or anything like that, but... I'll be looking into this with a glimpse of hope. Consider the fact that it is mountain water and not just your everyday tap water. Um, so today's video actually is brought to you by my friend Payton over at Texas Car Spotter. Um, he takes photos of cars, he does commissions for them, and he's just a general really good guy. So you guys should go check him out. His link will be in the description. Again, that is TX underscore car underscore spotter on Instagram. So, let's crack open our water, give it a nice taste. Ooh, never heard water do that before. Let's get that nice gurgly sound for you. I just spilled water all over my desk. Wonderful. Perfect. How elegant. All right, well, I overfilled this. But that's fine. Let's get the first sip going. Ooh. Ooh. That's good. That's real good. Uh, it's heavy. Almost like Zephyr Hills. But without the terrible aftertaste or anything like that to it. Um. It has somewhat of a sweetness to it like you have your mouth open when you walk inside the fragrance area at a Macy's uh, sorry about any background noise you may hear uh, my family decided to argue whilst I record this that's fine um I enjoy this water I would buy this again would I fly to Kentucky for it absolutely not who would fly to Kentucky for water but this is really good Seriously, if you guys live in Kentucky, buy this. If you're in Kentucky, buy this. Again, that's Cumberland Gap Mountain Spring Water. Uh, this water gets an 8 out of 10. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.